Each of these shelves is one metre long and there are 14,000 of them. That's 14 kilometres of archive material down here, stored not just on one or two of these racks, but on hundreds of them. It's mid-afternoon now and this is the fifth lorry to arrive at the Quadrilla test site, being marshalled along the road by police as before and met by a barrage of protesters with banners and music. Despite worldwide concern about greenhouse gas emissions, lack of runway capacity and noise pollution and so on, the last three decades have been very good for Airbus. And it's here on the Isle of Grain that that 260 kilometre cable carrying one gigawatt, that's roughly 400,000 kettles to you and me, actually emerges and is connected to the national grid via all the equipment here. One of the highlights of today's rally has been tours round the showground on buses like this one, a classic from 1947 and one of the original M&D buses. Growing melons in the UK isn't actually that new. The Victorians used to grow them in greenhouses, but the trouble is growing them on a commercial scale, and that's what this trial is all about. This giant lens mechanism on a cast iron base weighs around three tonnes, but it's so well balanced on a bath of mercury that it can go round with remarkably little effort. In this flask behind me, made of 14 inch thick steel, there are the final 102 such rods, ready to go off to Sellafield. This is one of the virtual courtrooms where defendants would be tried. The defendant and his solicitor would sit over there looking up at this video conferencing system. A camera here relays the image of the defendant back to the magistrates and the image of the magistrates court is shown to the defendant on this screen. In the warm sun, as Shakespeare himself once wrote, to sleep a chance to dream. Wait, clear off, I'm having a sleep. <laughs> get out. The supermarket wants to get about 20p. The processor, well, they'll take about 13, 14 pence. And that leaves the farmer with about 24 pence. Just before the patient swallows the capsule, they'll put on this sensor belt, which will receive the images transmitted by the capsule. And those will then be recorded by this data logger. And over the course of its eight hour journey, around 55 to 80,000 images will be stored. The tree's base was here, with the tree towering tall above this side of the pavement. But just before 10 o'clock last night, it came crashing down onto this co-op car park, just as the elderly driver of this Volvo was about to back out of his space. At its peak, the water level was up to about here. You can probably see the tide marks on the side of this shed here. Giant pumps were brought in, their pipes sneaking over the back fence. And by the time the water level was down to about here, around one and a half million litres of water had been pumped out. Simply running around, that might take too long. Instead, they would write their message on one of these pieces of paper and then knock here, put the message in and pass it through. Well, now I like lifts but I like stairs. I might like slides, but which one is better? There's only one way to find out. <sighs> Invigorating. Now all they need to do is invent a better way of going upstairs. David Johns, ITV News.